Hey everybody, it's Claudia. So I have a new haul for you guys. It's from MAC and I was just feeling very fall today and so I'm over, so, so over summer. Like I am into the dark nail polish now. I'm into the fall colors as you guys can see. Um, fall is my absolute favorite season of the month of the month of the year and I am just so excited to go into fall and have it be fall time so I went into Mac because they had their fall collection come out um, I think it was like maybe the receipt tells you what it is it was something like desires or deep something or other I'm not sure I'll put a little picture or link or something right here but um yeah I picked up a few things and a lot of the colors it was a very like fall heavy collection and I feel like MAC has been very fall heavy all year. Um, I talked about that a little bit in my other MAC haul from the Temperature Rising collection that I felt it was very fall like but this is even more fall like and everything I'm wearing on my eyes and lips are from the collection so you guys will get to see like an up close of those and I'm going to do a makeup tutorial at the end of this to show you how to use this so you could call it like a back to school look it's super super gorgeous and super wearable as you guys can see hopefully and so that will be at the end of this video so I'm gonna stop rambling and just get into the products that I got the collection didn't have too many things that I was like oh my god I need that but there were two um, flu lines that they had and they were in Deliciously Rich and Gilt Gourmet and the Gilt Gourmet color is just this gorgeous shimmery champagne gold color looks like that and it's just super super gorgeous and beautiful the thing with these fluid lines is that they are really pigmented but um, you have to go over them a couple times for the pigment to really pop so that's my only kind of dislike for these and then the other color that I got is deliciously rich and it's this really gorgeous brown taupey color and it's just so so pretty I hope you guys can see that and because I've been watching some hauls lately and it really not bothers me but like I'm the kind of person who if I'm gonna go get a collection from a like big retailer I kinda wanna know what I'm roughly gonna spend so each of those fluid lines retail for $19 in Canada. Then the next eye product I got is um, a Velux eyeshadow and it's called Beluga and it's just this really gorgeous black gold green color and it looks like that. And as you guys can see it's really sparkly and glittery but it's kind of got a sheer wash of color, so I kind of like that about it, that it's not like in your face, I'm wearing black. Um, it's a really wearable color, and it was the only color in the collection that I was kind of like, I don't have anything like this. Um, I went with two of my friends, Laura and Amy, and they picked up a few other eyeshadows. They picked up this really gorgeous purpley mauve color, but I have so many colors like that that I was like, eh, I just couldn't justify it, but I haven't really seen a color that is quite like this one so I picked this one up and it's the only eyeshadow I picked up because again as I said a lot of the colors were green and purple and something I probably wouldn't wear every day and something I probably already had in my collection or close to so I just decided that there was no point in wasting my money on something that I potentially have a dupe of and Beluga in Canada retails for $18 so that's kinda why I was able to say no to some of the other eyeshadows because I was like for $18 I probably have something that I've already bought from here that's pretty much exactly like this I picked up one nail polish from the collection um, there was another one that I really wanted but again for $19 I was like eh I want to try out this formula before I go pick up um, the other one and I really was super super impressed with this formula because sometimes with golds and glitters and shimmers like this I hope you guys can see that you often they're really streaky like that's what I noticed with Essie's is that they were super 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 streaky and I really didn't like that with Penny Talk it's like that and as chrome as it gets I think but those like silvery goldy colors and then Orly's Rage is the same way it goes on really kind of streaky and I don't like that 
but this was gorgeous it's opaque it's so so worth the money and this one is called sinfully sweet and again as I said this is more like a bronzy goldy almost like silvery color but then there was a, like a really gold one and I may go pick that one up because I really like the formula of this and it's so gorgeous and I'll insert the picture um, that I Instagrammed now and I used it on these nails and you guys will be able to see that after the tutorial that I did. I got two lip products, I got one lip gloss and one lipstick and they had like six. Um, they had, they were all, there were three nudes and three reds I think and I was just like I don't need, I don't need all of these lipsticks. And it was really hard to say no, but I just didn't swatch any, so I was able to walk away with one lipstick and one lip gloss. And I love the names for these, but this one is Utterly Tart, and it's just this really pretty red berry color, and it's like the perfect berry color. Like, I love this so much. And it was... $18 so everything in this collection was kind of like the same price but um, this I'm wearing over top of the lipstick right now and it just like oh it's such a good vampy red lip combo and again I will swatch this at the end of the video so you guys I will show you guys at the end of the video with my makeup look and um, swatches and all that fun stuff but it's just so pretty so if you were gonna get a lip gloss from this collection I recommend Utterly Tarte because it's gorgeous and then the very last thing I got, as I said, is the lipstick, and this is in Just a Bite, and again, I really like these names, because they're kind of like vampire-esque, but it's just so perfect for fall, and I don't know, they make me really happy. And this lipstick retails for... And this lipstick also retails for $18, but this is what it looks like, and it's actually quite sheer, which I like. So it's a great buildable red color, and so if you just want a little wash of color, like your lips have been just bitten, then you can just kind of swipe it on and blend it in with your finger. Or if you want a darker look, you can either add the lip gloss on top or... Or you can build this up. So that was everything I got from the MAC Fall 2013 collection. Um, I was not unimpressed with the collection, but I wasn't like blown away with it either. As I, you guys saw, I got maybe five things. So which I, <laughs> which I feel for me is like, well, Claudia did a good job. She spent under two hundred dollars. So that is my. <laughs> sounds so bad to say out loud. <sighs> anyway, that is it for this haul, and I will stop rambling. Hopefully I said everything I wanted to about these products, and I will get into the tutorial for this look. And as I said, this look is really wearable and super pretty. Alright, so this is the look. I've already done the first eye to save on time, but it's just a really pretty wearable kind of smoky eye, and I love it. So the first thing we're going to do is take a neutral color. Um, this is Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC, and put that all over the lid. Then we're taking Gilt Gourmet, which is the gold fluid line from this collection, and we're going to put that on the first half of our lid, and you're going to want to go over that a few times just to make the color really pop and really golden, and just get that gorgeous color payoff. Then we're taking Deliciously Rich, the brown fluid line from the MAC collection, and we're putting that as kind of a winged out liner from the middle of our lid to the outside of our lid and you're going to kind of want to blend the two in the middle so it's almost an ombre eyeliner look. So you could leave the look here which is pretty simple and neutral but I want to make it a little more smoky so I'm taking the Beluga eyeshadow from the MAC collection, the kind of black sparkly one and I'm just popping that really really lightly into my crease just to smoke up the look a bit and make it a little more deep and give it a little more depth and I just really like the finished look of this. So now we're going to curl our eyelashes and then you're going to put on your favorite mascara to make the look complete. So that is it for the eyes and now I'm going to move on to lips because I got two lip products from this collection. So we're taking the Just a Bite lipstick and popping that on our lips and I'm blending it out and then I'm taking the lip glass and I'm just putting that over top. And I can't remember the name of it but I've said it in the video so you guys know what it is. But that's the finished look and I hope you like it.
So that was everything I hauled and the makeup look with the items that I hauled, and I hope you guys like it. If you do like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, and if you like my videos in general, I would love if you subscribed. That was a dog. Because it really makes my day, and I just hit um, 252 subscribers, and it made my day, and I was like, <gasps> I was so excited. So thank you guys all so, so much for that, and I think that's all I <laughs> want to say right now. Yeah, I just really appreciate you guys subscribing and liking my videos and commenting and all that fun stuff and again all my links are down below so Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and my website are all down there and I would love to see you guys on some of those so I hope you guys have a great weekend and if you guys pick up anything from the MAC collection definitely like tweet me or Instagram me or show me because I love to see what you guys picked up and what you thought as well. So I hope you guys like the makeup look I created. I hope you like my haul and I will see you guys on Monday with a Music Monday. Bye!